Well, hi everybody and welcome to Moodle Support Theater. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to modify the basic course shell that you'll discover when you enter your Moodle class for the first time. Now, if your shell looks a whole lot different from what you see here, or you're working with the course designer, go ahead and skip this and move on to the next video. If not, let's do some modification of this basic shell to make it more user friendly for both you and your students. And we are using Firefox, the browser of choice for Moodle. To begin, let's go to the upper right hand corner and turn our editing on. Now I'll point out right now, none of this is required, but it will will serve to demonstrate both what is working well for a large number of our faculty members and how you can modify a page to fit your needs. Okay, with the editing turned on, I'm going to the right hand column and I'm going to remove these first two items. Uh, use the X and remove latest news and messages. Let's come down the right hand column, notice the block link. Let's use our add button. Let's scroll down. I'm going to replace the messages with quick mail. The reason I'm doing that, messages last semester had a propensity to choke. Messages would not be delivered. The quick mail, on the other hand, is connected to the student's email and should be delivered with no problem at all. Another item we're going to go into our blocks. Using our drop down, we're going to scroll and find HTML and select that. This is an HTML block. We'll be using this in our next video. We're going to create a faculty introduction page. Where you put things are entirely your choice. I'm finding a lot of people like to take the quick mail and notice when I float my mouse on top of where it says quick mail, I get a four way arrow. I'm going to drag it and put it right on top of the word administration. And now quick mail is at the top of my list. If you're using another browser, you may see arrows, click on the arrows and it'll indicate where you can put that item. The very top item is going to become the HTML block. So again, I'm going to go grab HTML block and drop it right on top of quick mail. And it's now ready for our next video. Two more things I'm going to suggest. I'm going to suggest adding people from our blocks. So we're going to use the drop down, add people. Notice whenever you add a block, it appears right on top of where you added it. The other item I'm going to choose is at the top of the list. I'm going to add activities. Again, these are my recommendations, but they seem to work out rather well across the campus. I prefer the people block. I'm going to drag it and put it at the top of the left hand column. This shows who's in the class and the activities block. I'm going to drag over to the bottom of the left hand column. This is very useful when you get to creating assignments. So uh, we're going to put this one here. OK, we've done some basic modification. We now have a new HTML block, quick mail that allows us to get in touch with our class without having to worry if it's going to go through. And we have people showing a list of who's in our class and activities showing the assignments, forms, and the different things we've set up to use. Come back next time and we will go to the top of our right hand column and configure this HTML block so students know who you are, where your class is, and how to reach you. If you need help between now and then, stop by Library 315 or give us a call at extension 3633 because here in Moodle Support, you know what we say, we're here to help.